What's up guys, Brian here and today I'm going to share with you some useful apps and tips for your broken Android phone screen. This will only work if your Android Click on download and search for Flying Android and you see it in the list of modules that are there for your phone. When you install it and activate it, you will see this, the Flying Android icon on your status bar. Whenever you drag down your status bar, you see it under the, as one of the notifications there. Just click on it and you see that your, the window, the current window on your Android phone will now be movable. That is, you can move it from the top to the bottom, from the bottom to the top, and with that, you'll be able to type things or assess things that you were not able to assess. For example, if I open my message application, when I now tap on the flying Android and activate it, you see that I'll be able to move it today. I'll be able to move this part of them, the things that were on this part of the screen that I could not touch to the top and from there I'll be able to touch it and do anything that I want to do. So it's very useful to exit it, just double tap on an empty space and the application will exit. So that is it for this application. The third feature or application I'm going to show you is called Google Voice, Voice Typing. It is an inbuilt application and it is there in every Android phone as far as you are using a good Android phone and it will not clone. So to activate it, just open any application that will require you to type. When the keyboard pops up, drag down your status bar, then click on choose input method. Under the input method, you see different keyboards, click on Google Voice Typing. And from there, you'll be able to 
say anything that is you'll be able to say it and the app will transcribe it to text for you so it's a very useful application from here you'll be able to say things and it will transcribe it for you instead of you to now be rotating your screen to type them one by one it is even useful for those that the android phone screen is not broken as i use it sometimes but you need to have a very good accent for this to work because it make it makes mistake a lot of time so you just have to tolerate it the fourth and final app or feature i'm going to show you is called swipe back swipe back is an exposed module so just like the second app that i showed you you have to have exposed installer on your android phone go to expose click on modules then search for swipe back if you installed it activate it and if you open it you'll be able to customize it whether which side of the screen will you swipe it this app will help you to exit that is to quit an application by just swiping on your android phone screen either from left to right or right to left depending on what you set it to be for example let me open my contact application when you when i open it now you can see down here my navigation keys are not functioning so i cannot exit the application or go back but with this application i'll be able to just exit or quit this contact application by just swiping back it's very easy as that all that you need is root access and expose installer so that's it guys for this video thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed it give a thumbs up if it was useful give a thumbs down if you didn't like it share it with your friends and if there is any app or feature that you did not see that you like to suggest to people just leave it down there as a comment see you next time bye